Dr. Chan saw it? I'm Akane. When I returned home, I saw something totally unexpected. What are you doing? Hey! My husband was on the ceiling. For various reasons, my husband and I have been living separately for two years, but... Why are you in my house? Please leave! Come down from there ASAP! Stop smiling at the ceiling! I'm Kuroki. When I returned home, my wife, who I saw for the first time in two years, was screaming to a wall. Two years ago, she left a note saying, I found my true love. Don't look for me, Akane. What the? And suddenly disappeared. I couldn't reach her on her phone, and I had no idea where she went. The number you've called is... I asked my in-laws for help. We're so sorry! But they seemed to not know anything and apologized sincerely. If you want to file a divorce, that's fine. We'll pay the alimony. That's what they said, but... It would be quite difficult. Is that so? If she hasn't even signed the divorce papers, there are some requirements for filing a one-sided divorce. And if you want to do it immediately, you'd have to prove that your partner is harmful to the court, which would take time and money. Oh, I see. It's possible to file a one-sided divorce after five years of separation, so if you're not going to court, you'd have to wait. Sorry, I can't be of much help. No worries. Five years is a long time. Well, there's nothing I can do, so it's not worth thinking about it. I should just forget about her as quickly as I can. That was two years ago. And now... Hey, Akane? What are you doing here? You... You come home all of a sudden. And why are you screaming to the wall? You came here just in time! Huh? You won't come down from the ceiling! Help me get you down! What? What are you talking about? Hurry! What? You're scaring me. I thought she was just kidding at first. But apparently that's not the case. She looks so serious. I contacted my in-law and had her taken home. So sorry about this. Why have you been this whole time? Later. Kuroki, we're really sorry for what happened yesterday. No problem. After we took Akane home, we asked what she'd been doing the last two years. According to my father-in-law, after Akane had written that note, she went to the place where the guy who she cheated on me with lives, without even telling him. I broke up with him! Let's live together! Huh? Oh. Huh? Who is she? She found out that he had a fiancé. Then it was all chaos, and she's been fighting for the past two years. Apparently the guy ended up with his fiancé, and they even have a child. That broke her heart, and that's why she's gone a little crazy. I'll take her to the hospital soon. What? What, what just happened? She's not in the best condition, but she is back, so let's proceed with the divorce. Sorry for making you wait so long. Yes, please. A few days later, my in-laws and I talked with a lawyer. You're sure you don't want an alimony? We weren't that close to begin with, so it wasn't so heartbreaking for me. I'd just like to file a divorce. We were able to settle the matter smoothly. I just asked to split the cost of hiring a lawyer. We ended our meeting for the day. We should be done after the next meeting. Yeah. Thank you for coming today. No problem. By the way, how's Akane doing today? Lately, she's been acting even stranger. She suddenly screams out words we can't even make out. Or starts acting out. But that's none of your business anymore. Please don't worry about it. Okay. That seems serious. But what would make someone go so crazy? Seeing and hearing things? Well, it won't matter to me anymore. I gotta finish this. I had always figured that after filing for divorce, I would move to a new place. To start a new life. Huh? Did I have a box like this? That's my stuff. <gasps> Why is my stuff here, Karoki? Who, who are you to talk? This is all because you cheated on me! This will no longer be your house! Leave now! No! I asked for forgiveness so many times! Many, 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 many times! You've never...
ever! What? When I'm home watching TV, you come out from the screen, telling me to apologize. You're always staring from the ceiling, the floor, the door, stairs. I'm so sick of it. Say something! How many more times do I have to apologize? Um, I don't need your... No, don't come any closer. Huh? You're there too? Karoki? The box too? In here too? In this box too? How many Karoki are there? No! Hi. Father and mother-in-law. Akane is in my house. Please pick her up. What? We've been looking for her. Thank you, Kuroki. Oh, I'm glad. No worries. I actually have something to ask. What is it? Can I ask for the alimony, please? I heard that Akane was picked up and was sent to the hospital later on. But she's still... apologizing to someone on the ceiling. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is a story from 20 years ago. Me and my husband Katsuda were having our first child. Congratulations, Susuji. Wow! Look at how tiny his hand is. You're finally gonna be a dad, Katsuda. You're on cloud nine. But, Susuji, there's something I'd like to confirm with you. Both of you and your husband are blood type O, right? Yeah? Well, you see... Your son, his blood type is A. What? Type O can't be born from type A. Do you have anything you need to tell us? What do you mean? Are you asking me if I had an affair with someone who was a type A? Well, I know you aren't the type to cheat, but I wonder why. I had no idea what had happened. I've been with my husband for five years, but I've never cheated on him. But... She looks all innocent, but you know, looks can be deceiving, eh? Unbelievable. The nurses were spreading bad rumors about me, and I was given dirty looks until I left the hospital. I told my husband we didn't know our son's blood type. Back then, the tests weren't as accurate, and it wasn't unusual for a test to turn up unknown. Well, he must be type O because both of us are. Look at his hair. It's just like mine. He's right. There's no way our son is an A. My husband mother was against our marriage. We will decide who our son marries. Katsuna deserves a beautiful daughter from a rich family. We had to fight to get married. If she finds out about this... Hey, did you hear that actress was cheating and got divorced? She deserves it. Cheating on your husband is unforgivable. My husband will probably suspect me too. Even if my son looks like him, if he finds out that they have different blood types... I kept it a secret, and two years later, we had our second child. He was a type A as well. Something's wrong. I have no idea what's going on. The internet wasn't big back then, and I had no friends in medicine. DNA testing wasn't popular either, and it cost too much to do. Maybe, in my sleep, someone besides Katsuda... <laughs> I'll help myself. I decided that I better stay away from other men besides my husband. Sorry, I won't be able to make it to the reunion. What? What a shame! Mommy! Three more years went by and we had our third child. Again, type A! All three are type A. What's going on here? Of course, I had nothing to hide. And my sons look more like my husband by the day. Sutsuji, I can't do my hair! Me too! I decided to talk about it to my husband. I was positive that all three children were ours. I'm sorry for keeping it a secret. I was scared of what you would think of me. If they aren't our kids, we're getting... divorced. Okay? <sighs> Katsuda! Just kidding. I'm just kidding, Sutsuji. There's no way those kids are anyone's but ours. My friends even say, those kids look like exact copies of you, all the time, and I agree. That's enough proof to know they're ours. Katsuna, I'm so sorry for hiding it all along. I just, 
didn't want you to suspect me for something I didn't do! I'm sorry for not noticing that you were worried about it all this time. So I stopped worrying about their blood types. Good morning! Yeah, they look like their father for sure. Ten years passed since I confessed to my husband about their blood types. And my eldest son was in ninth grade. Dad! Mom! Look at this! You're on the internet again? Just listen. This might explain our blood type. Let's go and get properly tested. So we did as my son recommended and went to the hospital for a thorough test. Katsura, you're a Bombay phenotype. Bombay? I've never met anyone with a Bombay blood type before. A Bombay blood type is a type O anomaly that has the DNA of type A and type B, but comes out as O when tested, only seen in one in a million people. Did you think you were type O? Wrong! You were type A! So does that mean that I'm actually a type A but show up as a type O? So that's why we're type A! Oh! I was worried for a long time that maybe I'm not your child because our blood types were different. So you were searching on your own? Yeah, when I looked online, they were talking about unique blood types. I'll search for more information so I can explain it to my brothers. So he was worried about it too. To be honest, I was worried a little bit too. I just didn't want to worry you by bringing it up. I'm finally free from this misery. I never expected Katsura would find the answer. How promising. This prompted Katsura to get interested in medicine, and now he's in medical school. His brothers look up to him, and are working hard in each of their own ways as well. I wish I could tell myself back then that my understanding husband, medical advancements, and intelligent son would save me one day from all that pain. My name is Karin, and the one who's on his knees in front of me right now is my husband, Hidagi. So you're admitting that you're having an affair with the woman in this picture. This is not the first time my husband has cheated on me. The first time, he cheated with a girl much younger than me. This is what I get for forgiving him. My mind was set. I'm sorry! Please divorce me! Uh... That's my line. Why are you asking me for a divorce? Do you understand your position right now? I want to... marry her. Uh, uh, huh? I'm serious about her! She's the youngest girl in our department, and she's always crying because the older ladies at work are mean to her. She's such a nice girl with a great smile. I just couldn't leave her to fend for herself. I need her, and she needs me. Oh, I see. Hey, you know you're talking to your wife, right? And so we got divorced. Before I left him, I made him invite his girlfriend over to the house. Hideki, why am I here? Don't be afraid. I'll be right beside you. She seems like an innocent girl who wouldn't cheat. The reason I called you here is to have you sign this right now in front of me. Wait. What? What is this? I'm not saying you have to get married right now. This is simply so I can have closure. It'll just help me move on if I watch you right in front of me. Oh my. What are you talking about? You're scaring her. Don't worry about it, okay? We'll take things slowly. I... I'm never marrying Hideki. What? What? What are you talking about? I thought we were going to get married someday. We said we should be together forever, but you never said anything about marriage. Oh, really? So, but you like me, right? Yes, but I'm only 25. I don't know what my parents would think if I told them that I was getting married to a man after cheating on his wife with me. Then don't have an affair in the first place. Before I could say those words, my husband exploded. But you gave me your heart! And they had a big fight. I like you, Hideki, but... Then why did you... Enough! Are you seriously talking about marriage? I was just playing this guy, and he fell for me. Marriage? Are you kidding? What's wrong with you? Hey, are you okay? This isn't like you. Don't touch me. I mean, that character is so annoying. Ugh. All I wanted was for you to buy me nice things and give me attention. But you're such a pain in the ass. Sue me if you want, but I don't want him anymore. Goodbye. Use a Rhea! Uh, K. 
Can we start over? Are you kidding? Please give me another chance. Young girls are crazy. You're the best. You're the best. Hey, let go of me. Are you kidding me? Please, you're all that I've got. <laughs> he ended up signing the divorce papers. My husband left and I got alimony in the house. The girl he was having an affair with was later found to have been having a five-way affair at work. She was pretty much driven out of her job. As she was leaving, Hideki was one of my affair partners. She exposed him, and as a result, he was fired. This company is all I've got! I heard he didn't take it too well. You're the only one who accepts me for who I am, Karin! Please give me a second chance! I get letters like this now and then but I don't understand why he thinks he has any chance. I am enjoying a lovely single life. My name is Katsura. My parents were arrested for domestic violence and drugs when I was still a child. My grandma was the one who picked me up from the orphanage. Katsura. I'm so sorry I didn't notice. You can stay with me from now on. And that's how I came to live with grandma. What's this, Grandma? It's a school bag. You're going to school, Katsura. You're going to make a lot of friends and study hard. I was never allowed to leave the house until my parents were arrested. I get to go to school! This is exciting! Grandma would work in the garden and took great care of me. Wow! That's a big one. Three years passed, and one day... Let me see, Katsura. Please. No way. Do you know what you did to him? Mother, please just listen. Grandma, was that? Sorry to scare you, Katsura. You have nothing to worry about. I'm here to protect you, okay? Okay. A few days later? How many times do I have to tell you? I told you not to come back here. I've broken up with my husband. I'm working part-time and living alone to try to put my life back in order. Please, I just want to see him. <laughs> uh, even though I disowned you, I am still your mother. If you are really trying to turn your life around, I'll let you see him. Only with me around, though. <gasps> Thank you, mother. Come here, Katsura. Katsura! Mom? Yes! I'm so sorry I haven't been around. It's been such a long time. She's so nice. I'm glad. From that day, my mother came to see me often. One such day... I want to live with Katsura again. What are you saying? Of course not! Do you even remember what you did to that young boy? I haven't forgotten, but I want to make it up to him. <sighs> Grandma thought it over for several days. I don't trust you fully yet, but maybe it's better for Katsura if you live with his mom. Mom! Katsura, you're living with your mom from now on. What about you, Grandma? Don't worry, I can stop by any time because I live nearby. And you can call me any time, okay? Okay, I'm sad to leave Grandma, but one day, when you and Grandma make up, can we all live together? Of course. I'll try my best to make that happen. This is where we're going to live. Come on, get in. Okay. Hey, Katsura. Welcome home. Katsura, do you remember your dad? Uh, yeah. I thought you said they broke up. I'm sorry for lying to you. If I told your grandma that your dad was here, I don't think she would have given you back to me. The three of us are going to live happily ever after, okay, Katsura? Dad and Mom were nice. At first... I can't move. I'm so hungry, too. I wonder how long it's been. I think I've been talking to Grandma every day. How is it with your mom? Um, yeah. It's fun. I love the food Mom cooks and... Great, I'm glad you're doing fine. You call me right away if you need anything, okay? I'll be fine. I'll call again soon. Hey, who said you could use the phone? 
D Dad! Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, don't make him cry too hard. If the neighbors find out, I'll lose my child support checks. <laughs> so much trouble, and it's not even that much money. Well, at least I can let off some steam on him. And if I'm having a bad day, I'll just make him my personal punching bag. I couldn't bear to upset or worry my grandma anymore. So I lied and told her everything was fine. Katsura! Grandma? I'm so sorry, Katsura. I'm so sorry. I promise to keep you safe. I'm so sorry. We have to get out of here before that girl comes back. I promise to never let your mother near you ever again. I'm so sorry, Katsura. I'm so sorry. Soon after, I was given a place to stay at my grandma's sister's son's house. Please take good care of him. Grandma! If you stay with me, that girl is going to try and take you back. If she uses the law against me, there's little I can do to protect you. But you'll be safe here. We won't be together, but stay strong. I wasn't able to see my grandma for a long time. Where's grandma? I miss her! <laughs> Ten years later? I'm sorry we haven't been able to tell you everything. Your grandmother didn't want us to tell you where she was moving to, or give you her contact information. Your grandma was hiding so her daughter wouldn't be able to find her. But she was the one who filed all of your legal paperwork. She's been supporting you from the shadows. Grandma has been fighting for me all this time. I caused so much trouble for her because I was only a child. That's not the case, Katsura. We've kept her posted through my mother about you getting into college and how you got a girlfriend, and she says she's very happy for you. She's happy that you're doing well. <sighs> I wish I could have told her all those things myself! I know, so we were thinking, now that you're an adult, you aren't bound by your real parents anymore, right? So, go see her. Your grandmother. Where's this address? Oh, here it is. I remember Grandma crying and apologizing to me. I've never forgotten the strength she had to come and save me. Katsuda? I won't waste this life that you saved for me. I'm home, Grandma. My name is Karin. It's cramming season for high school prep exams. As the exam dates got closer, everyone in class started focusing more and more on studying. However... Uh, hey, Kuroki. Did you see the text I sent you yesterday? Ow! Not yet. That's what I thought. You aren't very obedient recently, are you? Maybe you need to be disciplined! Stop it! Let me go, Tachibana! Hey! Karin, stop! You don't know what they might do to you! Yeah, but... Hey! What are you doing? What are you looking at? Are you okay, Kuroki? Are you hurt? Tachibana and Akamatsu. These two have so much trouble in the classroom and no one can concentrate on their studies. Kuroki was especially a frequent target. Thank you guys for staying late to study. It helped a lot. Don't worry about it. You don't get much time to study, do you? Those idiots. Can we stop talking about them? We're finally free from them. Let's talk about something more fun. Hey, Karin. Tell me one of those stories again. Like the ones you always talk about. Oh, the urban myths? Yeah, tell us some. All right, if you say so. I got a new one for you. So this person got on the train as usual, and the train never stopped and kept going, and the person disappeared like they got spirited away. Ugh, now I'm scared to ride the train alone. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, seriously. Sounds like you guys are talking about something fun, Kuroki. Hey, let us in too. T Tachibana? And Akamatsu? Why don't I help you get spirited away? Here, come ride this train. This isn't my train? Like I said, I'm gonna help you get spirited away. Kuroki! Stop it, you guys! You know you wouldn't like it if someone did that to you! 
come on, we're almost in high school. We're too old to be doing things like this to each other. You know, you're right. We're sorry. <laughs> Just kidding! See you later, Kuroki! Have fun being spirited away! Those punks! The train conductor was watching and opened the door for Kuroki after the two ran away. Kuroki was used to being harassed after school, so it just seemed like another day for him. However... Huh? Where's Kuroki? He had something fun prepared for him. Kuroki switched schools. He was fed up with their bullying. You think he's coming? Or do you think he quit? Who knows? Maybe he really did get spirited away. <laughs> Scumbags. Hey, Karin. I guess we just need to find a new target. After Kuroki left, I became their new target. I lost even more study time, but it was better than watching someone else get... I knew those two since elementary school, so I knew how to deal with them. But the bullying persisted every day. I'm gonna scribble on your papers! Until graduation. Graduation is really finally over. Those two were really a pain in the ass till the very end. Yeah, thanks to them, our class was the last to leave. And I'm starving. Our parents are taking their time in the bathroom. All you're talking about is food, Karin. Now that I'll never have to see those two, I can take my time and think about food. But they stole so much of my time that I could have been studying. I wish I could have gotten back at them. Hey! hey. What's with the face? You're going to West Atra High School, right? It's our last day together. Let's have a going away party, Karin. Speaking of farewells, I wonder what happens to Kuroki. I wonder whose turn it is to get spirited away. You lowlife, let go of me! To Suji, when our parents get back, just leave without me. What? Just do as I say. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Mom, come here, to Suji. You two again, let her go. Oh, the annoying ones are here. Tachibana, let's run! The train's here! All right. <sighs> Just kidding! You think we'd leave empty-handed? That's my diploma! Come and get it! See ya, Karin! We'll make sure to throw these away for you! Yes! First ones on the train! How terrible! We have to stop them! Wait, Sasuji, leave them. What? I guess they're not coming after us. They're no fun. We could have dragged them on this train with us. Let me know if they show up. I've got to complete today's missions. Here we go again, game addict. Mm -hmm. Hey, Tajibana? What? Is Karin after us? No, it's just that no one else is getting on, and everyone is giving us weird looks. I think we should get off. Hey! What are you looking at? The doors are closing. The doors are closing. Uh-oh. Hey! What's this? Hey! Uh, hey! Karin! Hey! Why are you just standing there? This... What's going on? I don't know. Maybe you're just about to get spirited away. What? What are you talking about? The train is departing. Hey! Oh! Hey! Hey! Karin, hey! is that train... Tachibana and Akamatsu didn't notice that they had gotten onto an out-of-service train. Akamatsu! What are you doing? Akamatsu! Stop this train right now! How am I supposed to stop the train? Those two have no idea, and they're probably scared out of their minds. Sorry. Oh, the train already left. Um, Mr. Conductor? Um, that train... Where is it headed? Oh, that's going to the garage for now. The garage? Yeah, at Atra Station. About half an hour from here. I told them to head back after they get here. They really did go for a long ride on an empty train. Just like the urban myth. Tachibana Akamatsu's mother is called to apologize after that, and they were scolded by their parents. I got my diploma back, and I was able to get my revenge on those two, so I'm satisfied. We did cause a little trouble for the train conductor, though. And finally... Good morning, Sasuji! Oh, you scared me! I was worried that I made a mistake because you were so late! Sorry, I just got a little lost. Yeah, I'm still trying to get used to this new station as well. Good morning, you two. Oh. Oh! Good morning, Kuroki. 
I'm glad you're both here. I wasn't sure of the way here. Kuroki, which class are you in? Class A. Oh, we'll be close then. I was able to reunite with Kuroki, and it's peaceful without those two. But sometimes, while I'm waiting for a train, I remember that day. <laughs> hey, what's with the sudden laugh? They're creeping me out. That's funny, Karin. Kuroki, let me tell you about this one time. Oh, that story. Yeah, you remember Tachiban and Nakamatsu? Those two. The look on those guys' faces. They believe the urban myth for a second. I'm Susuji. I'm pregnant with my first baby, and it will be my final month of pregnancy soon. But... Akamatsu. My husband Akamatsu has always been a cheater, and we've almost broken up many times. But I thought he'd change since we had a baby. Where are you? Why are you coming home today? He hasn't even read my messages. Maybe he's drinking around somewhere again. I hope he's not with another girl. I wonder if we can raise our baby properly like this. What if he goes out drinking even after the baby's born? My husband had no sense of becoming a father, and I spent my days in worrying distress. Welcome home, Tsutsuji. Take it easy and relax here. My due date was getting close, so I went back home to give birth there. I was busy getting ready to give birth, but my mood did improve a lot. I've been telling him that it's my due date soon, but he hasn't read my messages yet. I wonder if he's out drinking again. I need to focus on my baby now, not him. My husband was still giving me stress, but I tried not to care. On the day of birth. Okay, breathe in, breathe out. Yeah, you're doing great. Just a bit more. Keep going. Congratulations. It's a healthy baby boy. My baby? After a long, long time, I finally gave birth to a baby boy. Suzuji, congratulations. You worked so hard for this. I just saw your baby. He's so cute. Thank you for sticking by my side all this time, Mom. The next day, my mother-in-law and sister-in-law also visited me in the hospital. I'm so happy for you. Oh, thank you. He's so little, so cute. By the way, did you get in touch with Akamatsu? When he's coming? I have no idea. He never replies. What can he be doing? His own child was just born. But he's lazing around somewhere as usual. I'm gonna go call him again. I'm sorry, Sasuji. No, it's okay. This baby is the most important thing to me right now. My sister-in-law kept calling my husband and we finally got in touch with him. My baby has been born. It's a boy weighing 3,034 grams. Sorry for being late. I'll be at the hospital tomorrow afternoon. And the next day. He should be here any minute now. I wonder what he could have been doing up till now. Tsutsuji! For some reason, my husband came to the hospital with a girl I'd never seen before. Huh? Who is she? I had such a rough time these past few months. I felt so lonely when you went to bed early saying you were feeling sick. When you were visiting home, I couldn't take care of the house and it was so hard for me. But this lady, Akane took care of the house for me and that's how I could survive. She's the one who supported me both physically and emotionally for the last few months. I think true love is supporting someone in difficult times. When I'm with Akane, I can be myself. So Tsutsuji, Please, let me file a divorce! I'm going to live happily with Akane! Stop with their bullshit! What are you saying? How can you say such a thing when your own baby was just born? What you love? Are you stupid? What are you thinking? I can't believe this! Hey, wait! You said everyone would be happy for us! I don't want to have anything to do with this! I'm leaving! What? Wait, Akane! Hey, wait. I'm just kidding. It's a joke. Like how we always fool around. I'm done with you. Like you said, let's file a divorce. What? Susuji? No, it's just a misunderstanding. You're still saying some bullshit? Sis, forgive me! Shut up, you fool! Ah! We'll work hard, just the two of us. 
My husband was beaten up by my sister-in-law after that. This is the alimony for the two of you. Afterwards, I hired a lawyer to demand an alimony for my husband and the girl she cheated on me with. In addition, my husband's family totally abandoned him and he couldn't ever go back home after that. Apparently, he was especially bullied by his mom who could no longer see her grandson. Sasuji, I'm really sorry. Sorry for what my stupid son did. Please don't mind and raise your heads. It's no use staying mad over it. My husband's family members apologized to me so sincerely. So I let them see my son from time to time, even now. I figured it's no good being sad about it. So I started working part-time and saving money to move forward with my life somehow. With the help of my family in the kindergarten. Hi, welcome! A few years later. I have no idea what my ex-husband is doing now, but... Mom! Welcome home! I want to put my son first and take care of him. Now and forever on. My name is Sasuji. I met Hideki when I was in college, and we've been dating ever since. However... What? We found a tumor in your uterus. It's developed quite a bit, so we'll have to operate immediately. What? A full removal? Apparently, the cancer develops faster when you're younger. They said if I don't remove it, it, it could become a life or death situation. What should I do? Don't worry. I'll always be by your side, Suzuki. I'm here to protect you. Hideki. But if I have the surgery, I won't be able to have a baby anymore. You said you wanted a bunch of kids, right? Are you sure about this? You're right. I did say that. But your life is the most important thing, Tsutsuji. There's nothing more important than that. So, Tsutsuji, marry me. My diagnosis led to our marriage. We couldn't have any children, but we enjoyed our new life together. Hmm? What's wrong? I'm getting bored being a housewife, so I'm thinking about finding a part-time job or something. Hmm. A job? Oh, I have an idea! My friend from college said he was looking for some office staff. You want me to ask him about it? Oh, really? Would you? He introduced me to Tokusa, his college friend, and I started working in his office. <sighs> wow, you're already done? I used to do something similar at my last job. About these numbers, I think maybe you made a typo. Oh, you're right! Good thing I haven't turned it in yet. Thanks for telling me. Tokusa, here are the papers you asked for. And I sent you the data and meeting resources via email. Thanks, you're such a quick learner. I was talking to my boss. Considering you're such a good employee... What? They want to hire you full-time? That's great! But I'll have to work late hours. I'll have to come home late during the busy times of the year. We might not even have time to eat dinner together. That's fine. They're noticing how good you are, right? I guess. Hideki was supportive, so I decided to work full-time. My workload got heavier, and I often stayed at work and got home late. I'll be eating out tonight before heading home. He's eating out again. It seems like he's out pretty often. But I'm coming home late too, so I can't blame him. I'm gonna come home early tomorrow so we can eat at home together. I wonder who he's always eating with. Maybe a co-worker? Or maybe a woman? Is he cheating? No, oh, I'm thinking too much. That's not possible! I tried not to worry about it too much. But Hideki gradually spent less and less time at home. And six months later, we were barely even together. After a while... Tsutsuji, I'm sorry. Divorce me. I'm truly sorry. You're a good cook, and you are beautiful. It's not that I'm unsatisfied. It's just that I want a child. I was shocked. But I knew that Hideki loved children, and I couldn't press him on it. I figured that there was probably another woman involved, but I couldn't say anything. I was depressed, but my coworkers were supportive and helped me get back on my feet. <laughs> Don't worry, there are plenty of men out there. Let's drink and cry it away. Tsutsuchi, you're better than that guy anyways. I heard that Hideki got remarried soon and after a divorce and had a child. I'm having a baby. I can't believe he's posting that online. What an asshole. I'm over it, but I wasn't interested. And a few years later? I'm sorry, 
The Kusa is currently unavailable. He'll probably be back soon. Oh, it's fine. I'm here earlier than scheduled anyways. I met Kidoki through work, and I got remarried six months later. A few months later. You have a letter, Sasuji. Huh? A personal letter sent to my office? I wonder who it's from. Dear Tsutsuji, how are you? It's Hiragi. I didn't know where you went after we broke up, so I decided to send this to your office. What? I was surprised to hear that you got remarried the other day. I'm sorry if you felt like you were betrayed. I'm truly sorry. What? Is this guy out of his mind? Actually, I have a plan. I was planning on divorcing my wife and starting over with you. If all goes as planned, my two children will be out of the house in 20 years. Work on yourself as a woman until then, and wait for me. What is it? Just kidding. I love you the way you are. I always did. I really loved those meat pies you used to make, so I hope that your cooking skills will be even better by then. I'll be older by then, so maybe something lighter might be better. Lol. Ew, what is this? I'll be more than the man I used to be by then as well. Let me know if you can't wait for 20 years. I can't be with you quite yet, but we can meet up from time to time to confirm our love. I can't be with you quite yet, but we can meet up from time to time to confirm our love. You and I are destined for each other. Disgusting. What are you three up to? Um, Takusa. Um, Hiraki sent me this scary letter. A scary letter? <laughs> What is this idiot saying? Uh, yeah. Don't worry about this, Tsutsuji. I'll have a nice talk with him tonight. Thank you, sir. I'm exhausted from yesterday. I had a three-hour talk with him last night. Do you have any idea what you did? Do you know how much trouble you're causing everyone? And I had him sign a letter saying, I promise to never go near Tsutsuji ever again. Thank you, sir. According to Takusa, Hideki's new wife doesn't cook or do any housework. He's not even sure if his children are his because they don't look anything like him. My wife overspeeds and the kids are spoiled. But I know that Tsutsuji is out there waiting for me. What, what makes, makes you, think, you that? think that? That was pretty exhausting. I'm home. Oh, hi, Tsutsuji. I got home early today, so I made some dinner. Hey, thanks. I can't have any children, but my wonderful husband and I have a couple cute cats that we live with. And I'm very happy. My name is Yuzuriha. My husband is Akamatsu. We live in the city together. Are you wondering where I am right now? No! Stop it! Not here. Oh, come on, baby. I'm looking down from the loft in our room, filming my husband cheating on me. Disgusting. Stop screwing on my desk, damn it. Let me explain what led up to this. We haven't been getting along for a while, and I was already considering divorce. Because my husband... What? You're working late again? What about my dinner? A headache? Stop whining. I always have a runny nose. Was abusive. I still loved him at first, so I had my company let me do most of my work at home so I could do housework. But I realized one day when I was exhausted, I work the same hours and make more money. Why is it that I have to do all the housework too? I was fed up and started doing less housework. Hey, where's my change of clothes? Do it yourself, asshole. My husband was mad because I had become less obedient. Forget it. You're useless. Look who's talking. And this morning. Ow! Ugh, a headache again. I'm gonna have to ask to work from home today. Oh, hi, it's Yuzuriha. At least my loud husband has gone to work. I'm just gonna take some pills and rest in the loft for a bit. Ugh. I have a loft in my room which I use as a napping space. But recently, I've been sleeping here as well because I don't want to sleep next to Akamatsu. Ugh. I hope these pills kick in soon. Ugh. Huh? <laughs> what? Akamatsu's home? It's not even noon yet. Hey, is your wife really gone? Yeah, for sure. She's gone until the evening. Check it out. This is her room. 
Oh, so this is what your wife's room looks like. Wow, there's so many books. Right? It's crazy. All she does is read. I can tell. That bastard! How long have you been cheating? And on top of that... Oh, hey! Stop touching me there! These bastards! This is my room! Oh, I can't wait any longer. Hey, stop it! Hey, you're so bad! Go at it, you fools! I'm going to record every second of your nasty asses. And here we are where we started. Phew. That was amazing. They're finally done after 30 minutes of going at it. <laughs> Who shall I send this masterpiece to? I like that desk. Now I gotta get rid of it immediately. Uh, what? No! Hey, are you okay? Oh, Akane! I'm coming! Whoa! Oh! Ah! Ah! What's wrong, Akamatsu? What? Yuzuria! Why are you here? Please, call an ambulance! I can't move my back! Ah! Is that all you have to say? Ah! Ah! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Please forgive me! So, who is this girl, and how long have you been cheating? She's a co-worker named Akane. We've been seeing each other since she joined my company. I see. So, from before we got married, then? Ah! Ah! Help! No! Stop! Yeah, you remember that one time that I slipped my disc? How you said that I was overreacting? Well, what do you think now? Does it hurt? Get off! Please call an ambulance. You're pathetic. I filmed all of that, by the way. What? I'll be sure to have the lawyers and your parents take a good look when we discuss our divorce. And you, bitch, that's pretending to be unconscious. Sounded like you were having fun making fun of me. So, you better be prepared to get your fair share of heat as well. Got it? We're, we're sorry. sorry! I called the ambulance and had the paramedics take a good look at their pathetic state of being. Sorry for the wait! Wait, what? What happened here? That bitch ended up fracturing her collarbone from a five pound book that fell on her. Akamatsu had severe damage to his hip and was in bed for two weeks. <laughs> Serves him well. I had his parents take a good look at the video after that. They were only able to get through 10 seconds of my masterpiece. I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! Akamatsu, you dumb piece of shit! And we got divorced. I got plenty of alimony from both of them. And my desk and books compensated for. What? How come it's $10,000 just for the books? They were imported from overseas. I don't want to touch any of those dirty books with that bitch's sweat on it. What are you trying to say? Do you have a problem? Huh? No. I'll pay. Akamatsu must be afraid of me since then. Well, it was a lot of trouble. You've got mail. Can I have your signature? Of course. Oh, what a cutie. But I was able to get rid of my husband and get new books and a desk. And I feel quite refreshed. I'm Yuri. I met Karoki at work for two years into her marriage. We're starting to think about kids, but... <sighs> Negative again. We were trying, but for some reason it wasn't working. I was still in my 20s, so I wasn't in a rush, but... <sighs> hope it's not mom. Hello? Hello, Yuri-san. How are you feeling? How was this month? Sorry, I just did the test, bud. Oh, okay. Sorry to hear, but keep your head up. Stay warm and eat well. As you can see, my mother-in-law can't wait for her grandchild. My 
my husband and I weren't in a hurry, but... Sooner the better. Always. Look, I bought all these baby clothes on Baby Etra. They're unisex, too. Thank you. Kind of early, don't you think? She's been like this since the beginning. Mm. What if I can't have kids? All she talked about was kids. It was a lot of pressure. I want to talk to Kuroki about it, but... Mom means well and she's nice to us, so... Let's give it some time. Then... Three months later... Yes! Yes, I'm pregnant! Finally, I was pregnant. Both our parents were really happy. Hooray! Hooray! chan it's Daddy! The pressure was finally off. The day finally arrived. Don't strain, breathe out. Now, push. <sighs> Yuri, you can do it! Good job, dear. Almost there. There we go. Gonna hit her in the butt. Yuri, good job. Look, a beautiful baby girl. Karin, here's Mommy. Hello, Karin. It's Mommy. It took 15 hours to give birth, but finally, I was able to see my daughter. Yuri, everything okay? Both their moms were already at the hospital. So cute! My mom had to take care of her parents, so she went home the next day. Sorry. My mother-in-law stayed at a hotel nearby. Leave it to me. Yuri-san, you need to rest. But she... How's your breast milk? During my five days stay at the hospital... Let me do it too. He came to see her every day during visiting hours. You got Daddy's eyes and my nose. <sighs> By the time I left the hospital, I was exhausted. I'll go get the car. Finally, I didn't get to rest as much. I should have just told her, please step back a little, but she probably wouldn't take kindly to that. But now I won't have to see her for a while. Gotta switch it up. Nine months later. I'm home! Hey there! Yuri, sorry. I have to go abroad for two weeks for business. To where? Boston. Wow, amazing! That's a good thing! But leaving you alone here? I'm worried. Why not go and stay at my parents? Your parents live too far away. Mom said it would be okay, but... What? You already told her? Sorry. I called her for something else, and I ended up telling her. Of course. I'm just asking. It's not final. So what do you think? You don't have to. Kuroki, you don't get it. I know I can say no, but it's not that simple. And so, I went to live with my in-laws for two weeks. It's been nine months and his brother Tachibana hasn't seen her daughter, so I guess it's fine. There she is, Yuri-san, Karin-chan! Then, I got to the house. Come on in! Yuri-san, long time no see. Tachibana, hey there! So big, as usual! Hey! Sup? This is Tachibana, Karoki's brother. He's still in high school. He's the superstar of the basketball team. Karin got big, but when he holds her, she still looks like a newborn. That's not how you hold a baby. Give her to me. I was kind of worried to come here without Kuroki, but I guess things will work out. But... Day two. Karin, you're such an angel. Mom, I'll take her now. Your arms must be numb. Oh no, not at all. Day three. After you're done, let me hold her. Sure. Day four. Mom. I just want to eat you. Day five. Uh, let's go for a walk. Day six. The only time I get to be with Karin is during fast feeding and at night. I should have known. Uh, oh, Karin, what's the matter? There, there. Uh, Karin. No, I have to tell her. For Karin. Yuri-san, 
I'll do the dishes. Huh? Oh no, it's the least I can do. So full of energy. Mom. Mom, what's for dinner? What? Mom, come on. What? What's your problem? What? Let go of me. Now you know how Karin feels. What? You've been hogging her since day one. I know she's cute, but Karin-chan wants to be with her mom. Stop hogging her. What? Think about her feelings, too. You have to help her relax. That's why she came here in the first place, right? You're right. Karin, here's mommy. Sorry, Yuri-san. I'll be more careful. Mom. But can I still go on walks with you guys? Of course. Let's go tomorrow. Tachibana. Um, thank you. No, sorry to shake Karin like that. Yuri-san, you should make yourself at home here. My brother asked you to come here to rest and relax. If you want to say something, say it. People in this house, we all suck at reading between the lines. Tachibana, thank you so much. I'll be more careful too. People in this house? Tachibana spoke on my behalf and told mom everything that was on my mind. I had a change of heart too. I decided to speak my mind. So I was feeling a lot of pressure back then. Oh, what? I didn't know. I'm sorry. But now that I think about it, I went through the same thing. I was doing the same thing. Oh, and we got closer than ever before. And to Kuroki, too. I didn't know. Sorry, Yuri. I thought things were going well between you two. I didn't know how you felt. Sorry about that. No, I should have talked to you about it earlier. I'll be sure to speak out from now on. If it wasn't for Takibana, things would have probably stayed the same. I'm truly grateful for what he did. I'm Yuri. I'm a college student and I just got a job offer from a food production company. Yuri, come here for a second. Okay, coming. You got a minute to talk. Sure, Dad. What's the matter? I withdrew your job offer for you. What? It's already January and my dad declined my job offer without even telling me. What do you mean? You're gonna become a pastry chef, right? What's the use of letting you go to college for that? A pastry chef? No, I'll be involved in pastry production, but not a pastry chef. If that's the case, then being a college administrator would make a better impression. What? You're telling me to work at a college? At my university, people who couldn't get any job offers were hired as administration staff. But that's for people who try to get a job offer but couldn't! I'm different, aren't I? I worked really hard to get a job because you told me to! I thought a lot about the salary and relationships with colleagues and chose the best workplace for me! The best? You think becoming a pastry chef is the best? No, you need to give up! <gasps> Anyhow, I lost my job offer at the worst time right before graduation. I had to consider working as a college administrator, but... What? Only part-time? I told you! There's no way they hired me as a full-time worker without a legit job offer! What kind of a terrible university only hires part-time workers? I didn't know you were so stupid! Dad... You have to get a real job at a good company! University staff isn't an option! It's impossible to get a real job at this point. Decline the job offer? You didn't know, Mom? If I knew, I wouldn't have let him do such a thing. What are you going to do? I couldn't stand him to begin with. But I never imagined he'd do such a rude, unacceptable thing. Yuri, I'm sorry your father is giving you a hard time. I'm not going to say anything unreasonable like him. You don't have to get a job by April, so do whatever you really want to do. What I really want to do? Mom, you baked cheesecake? Yeah, it's for dessert tonight. I can't bake as good as you though, so it's a simple one. You've always liked baking since you were little, and you would always say, I'm gonna become a pastry chef. You didn't really want to work at the food production company, right? Then, you should take this as a chance to do something you actually want to do. Mom, thank you! One week 
later. Yuri, how's the job hunt going? I'm not looking for a job, but I got a part-time job. A part-time job? Didn't you have a part-time job at the pharmacy? I quit that. Then where? The bakery we always go to. I'm gonna become a pastry chef. A pastry chef? I told you not to become a pastry chef! Stop. You've always denied Yuri of her dream, even when she was little. Why? I'm saying this for her sake. For her sake? Yuri's life is her own, not yours. Who do you think raised her up to this point? Dad, I appreciate you raising me until now, but I'm gonna live my life doing what I love. Fine. You can do whatever for your part-time job, but keep on looking for a real job. I'll never approve of you becoming a pastry chef. I started working as a part-time apprentice at the cake shop I've been going to since I was a child. Then, in March... You're still on your way to becoming an actual patissier, but could you work as a full-timer starting in April? Thank you so much! You got a full-time job? It's already been decided? Yeah. From April, I'm working full-time at the bakery. It seems like Yuri's working real hard. She can already make cakes like a professional. Mom, I'm not even close yet. So, Dad, I can make a living doing something I love. You don't have a problem with that, right? Dad? I'm calling the bakery. What? If you don't want to work so badly, then marry someone rich and start a family. I'll set you up with someone good. I'm going to make you quit your job at the bakery. Dad, stop! Thank you for calling. This is Patisserie Etla. I heard you're going to hire my daughter full time, but she's actually getting married, so consider as if it never ha- Enough with your bullshit! What are you? It's not Yuri's happiness you want. You just want to manipulate your family. I stood by for such a long time, but I can't stand seeing Yuri sad. Mom. I'm going to live freely too. Yuri, let's stay at a hotel or something tonight. Okay. Dad just stood there. He must have been surprised that Mom and I fought back. Apparently, my dad called my bakery again afterwards. But the shop owner understood that it was not my intention and let me keep the job. I'm so sorry about my father. No worries. Then my mom decided to file a divorce. I'm gonna live with Yuri, just the two of us. Since then, my mom and I have been doing the things we love. I'm thinking of selling my handmade goods at this event. Wanna join me? I'm getting into crafting lately. Sure, that sounds fun. I'm still learning, but... My dream is to become a great pastry chef and have my own cake shop one day. My name is Kari. One day, I received a call from my brother Kuroki. Hey, big brother. What's up? Hey, Karin! If Yuzuria comes to the house, let me know immediately. I'm begging you! Huh? What are you talking about all of a sudden? I'm on the road right now. I'll call you back later. Wait, hold up. No. What was that all about? And anyways, Mizudia's been here for a while now. <laughs> Mari, this is hilarious! Yuzuri has my brother's girlfriend. She's gorgeous, always calm and collected, mature. Hey, Kari. When I first met her, I couldn't believe that she was really my brother's girlfriend. Nice to meet you! You gotta be kidding! Despite that, they've been dating for quite a long time and even live together as well. And because she came over to my parents' place so many times, I didn't find it weird when she came over to visit today. Hello! Where's Big Kuroki? It's just me today. I wanted to see your face, Kari. It is a bit troublesome that she came over in the middle of the night, though. If I were to point something out... I guess Yuzuri is acting a bit strange today. What do you call a can opener that doesn't work? A can opener! <laughs> Acting normal. <laughs> Sorry, isn't this funny? She'd be more like that. Why did the bike fall over? It was too tight. <laughs> <laughs> She's acting like this. For now, I'll just send a message to Kuroki. Hey, Yuzuriha. Did you have an argument with my brother? Hmm? No, not at all. We're still totally in love. Oh, really? But recently, 
It's a tiny bit awkward when I see him. To be perfectly honest, I did something bad. Something bad? Oh, Yazidia, is it possible? Related to the fact you came here by car today? Is it that you drove here under the influence? That would explain your weird behavior. No, not at all. Look, my breath doesn't even smell of alcohol, right? Hmm, you're right. Then, what is it? Well, stuff happened. You need to be more specific than stuff. Uh, Yazidia, looks like my brother's coming over to pick you up. Also. Huh? The cops? Azuria? Excuse me. This is the police. Come over here. Yeah, yeah. You could spare me some time for one last cigarette, right? Men who can't wait won't get the ladies. Yuzuria turned into a completely different person. After finishing her cigarette, Yuzuria calmly allowed the police to put her under arrest without putting up a fight. Sorry for all of this, Karin. I'm glad I was able to talk to you one more time. The reason as to why Yuzuria got arrested was never explained to me by the police. What, what happened? happened? I heard the story from my brother once he arrived a few minutes later. Where's Yuzuriha? She's already gone. I'm afraid I don't know the details myself either. But apparently Yuzuriha's workplace was a really shady place. And I was contacted by the police about that in the middle of the night. What? Do you know of Yuzuriha's workplace? Yes, um... I've been told that it's a transportation company. It seems that the company has been illegally running a drug smuggling operation. What? And Yuzuriha is said to be involved. What?! I waited at our place until the usual time she comes home, but she never came home. She didn't respond to any of my messages either. That's why I'm driving around and looking for her. Oh, so that's why you called. I can't believe it. I won't believe that Yuzuriha was involved with drugs. That's right! It's gotta be some kind of mistake. A kind girl like her could never. If I didn't know, I would have probably been saying the same thing. I'll be going home for now. All right. If I didn't know that side of Yuzuria. After that, Tess revealed that Yuzuria was under the influence of narcotics at the time of arrest, and she was found guilty of the crime. Even after the verdict was read in court. You're wrong. Yuzuria would never do such a thing. There's been some kind of misunderstanding, or someone's framed her. Calm down, Kuroki! My brother kept professing Yuzuria's innocence. I still have no idea why Yuzuria chose to live with my brother when she would have to forge a false identity. Whether it was, be whether it was because she truly loved my brother, or was using him to blend into the average population. But... Sorry for all this, Karin. I'm glad I was able to talk to you one more time. Yuzuria! Also, give my thanks to Kuroki. I hope that the reason for her actions was the former. I'm Tokusa. My mom passed away when I was in elementary school, and since then, I've been living with my dad and my older sister. We were kind of lonely not having a mother around, but my sister and I took care of the house together, and my dad made enough money as a writer for all of us to live comfortably. I graduated from a university outside of my hometown, and now, I'm back home working for a company here. My sister's already gotten married and moved out to a nearby apartment, so I live with my dad alone. I need to start thinking about marriage soon, too. Hey, Takusa. What's up? Yuzuriha? I just wanted to hear your voice. <laughs> I've been wanting to hear your voice, too. I met my girlfriend, Yuzuriha, in a seminar during university. We are in a long-distance relationship now, but we've been together for over five years. You know, we can't be doing long distance forever. You said you wanted to come live with me eventually, yeah? You mean... Yeah, let's get married. <sighs> Hello? Sorry, I know it's out of nowhere. You must be surprised. No, I'm happy, but... Takusa, you said you grew up without your mom, right? Yeah, I did, and... N nothing don't mind me. I'll talk to you later, then. Huh? A few days later, 
I went to her parents' house to ask for their approval of our marriage. You don't have to be so nervous. I'm Tokusa, and I've been going out with your daughter. She's told us about you. Thank you for coming all the way here. He looks so kind. Phew. Oh, right, Tokusa. You don't have a mother, huh? Yeah, she passed away when I was in elementary school. Your dad raised you all by himself? Wouldn't people normally get married again in order to raise kids? Um, my older sister eagerly took care of our home, and I often helped too. Normally? Having kids work? Oh, must have been a pretty tough financial situation. No, my sister and I just helped around the house. It's not like we had to go out and work. What's going on? It doesn't seem like they understand what I'm saying. And your father is a writer? A writer at that age. Must have been rough having a father like that. It's like they assume I'm poor because of my dad. Stay calm. They're just misunderstanding. Yes, I don't have a mother, and my dad's job isn't the most stable. But I've never had a hard time making a living. I was raised in an ordinary, happy family, in my opinion. Ordinary? You say that because kids with a single parent don't know what real happiness is. I was so pissed I had nothing more to say. They continued to unfairly criticize me and my family. And during the entire conversation, my girlfriend never stood up for me. She just sat there, quietly. Yeah, so I made the worst impression on her parents. What the heck, that's so rude. Writer at my age. Dad, don't let that get you. What's the matter with your girlfriend too, not standing up for you? She's usually really nice and caring. I've told her about my family situation, too. Wasn't she just being nice because you're pathetic? No way! I really want to believe that's not the case. My mom and dad don't approve. They think I'd have a hard time if I got married. Oh, what do you think about it? I agree with my mom and dad, but I don't want to break up with you. I want to teach you what normal happiness is. Yuzuriha? Let's break up. Two months later. Hmm? It's been a while, Tokusa. I'm visiting your hometown now. Have time to meet up? Long time no see. I'm so glad you agreed to see me. Hey, remember Akamatsu from college? Of course. I still keep in touch with him. We used to hang out a lot back then. I actually talked to Akamatsu about our breakup. And he told me, your father is a popular writer. He's not that popular, I don't think. But you're not poor at all, right? I heard you live in a huge house. Why didn't you tell me you're rich? Hey, you just assumed I was poor. I mean, I'm not rich either. This is a rural area, so it's not rare to have a huge house. I forgive you for lying to me. I feel sorry that my mom and dad said such mean things to you that time. So, I'm open to reconsider our marriage? Sorry, I don't want to marry you anymore. What? Why? You wanted to marry me! I'm saying I will say yes for you! And you realize I came all the way here just to apologize to you? Listen, why are you saying you get married for me? You're the one who assumed my parent is poor, and now that you know I'm rich, you change your mind like that? I'm not rich to begin with, and you don't even have the ears to listen about that. I totally don't want to marry you. God, what a jerk! Thank you for coming! I haven't seen her since then. To be honest, I'm so glad I didn't marry her. A few days later... So sorry, I didn't know she had no idea about your house, so I talked a lot. It's okay, I got to find out what kind of a person she really is, so it's all good. She talked about this whole thing as if she were the victim, but clearly no one is on her side, and she seems to be really uncomfortable having people talk behind her back. Now I'm going out with someone who has no qualms about a single parent. My dad and sister also really like her. This time, I can be confident about having a happy marriage.